Hello Cowboys Nation, welcome to another video and without further ado, let's get to another round of news from America's team. Three Cowboys trade candidates after latest loss to Falcons. The Dallas Cowboys have put up one of the worst first halves in the NFC this year. They lost 27-21 to the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday and lost Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb to injury. While the season is long, this year looks to be over for Jerry Jones' squad with 24 hours to go before the trade deadline. Cowboys have trade candidates in Zach Martin, Rico Dowdle, and Brandon Cooks. The offense has been the problem for the Cowboys this year. While the defense has struggled through injuries to Demarcus Lawrence and Micah Parsons, the offense has not picked them up when given the opportunity. Sunday is the perfect example, as the defense allowed them to get out to a big lead. It was 7-3 Falcons after three brutal Cowboys drives. Atlanta ran away with it from there and Cooper Rush made the game slightly closer. Trading members of that offense waves a clear white flag in a season where the head coach is on an expiring contract. Mike McCarthy needed playoff success to save his job but has not done enough to qualify for the postseason. If Jerry Jones is willing to go through another rebuild, they should trade these candidates. Zach Martin ends Hall of Fame career elsewhere. The Dallas Cowboys have been built around offensive linemen for generations. The Dak Prescott era started with a spectacular season from Ezekiel Elliott behind a great offensive line. That group was built around right guard Zach Martin, who was named to his second All-Pro team that season. With unrestricted free agency looming, Jones should trade the Hall of Famer this week. Before Week 9, the Vikings acquired Cam Robinson from the Jaguars for a fifth-round pick that can become a fourth. Robinson plays a more premium position and is five years younger, so the return would be slightly less. Martin's name value makes him a solid trade value, which he has earned with seven All-Pros. The Cowboys should deal him for a late-round pick and clear themselves of the cap hit for the remainder of the season. Jerry Jones needs to understand that the Cowboys are not in a window of competition this season. Martin may not re-sign with the Cowboys and may even retire at the end of the season. While he is an all-time Cowboy, his run with Dallas should end by Tuesday. Rico Dowdle can change a contender's offense. Coming into the season, the Cowboys knew they had a running back problem. Jones claimed that Derrick Henry was too expensive and went with Ezekiel Elliott and Dalvin Cook behind Rico Dowdle. That three-headed monster has not worked and has put pressure on Dak Prescott to move the offense. That has not worked at all, leading to a 3-5 record. The Cowboys are in a position to trade a running back to a contender in exchange for a mid-round pick. Dowdle is a solid young running back that Dallas can replace with another draft pick this year. He is an unrestricted free agent and could command a salary that is not worth paying a running back. On the other side, the 49ers are battling through running back injuries. If Christian McCaffrey cannot go and Jordan Mason is out long term with his shoulder issue, they could be looking for a running back. They have a history of turning anyone into a 100 yard back, so a player with promise like Dowdle could be solid. Cowboys must deal Brandon Cooks before Tuesday. This year has already been full of wide receiver trades. Devontae Adams is on the Jets, Omari Cooper moved to the Bills, Deontay Johnson was dealt to the Ravens, and DeAndre Hopkins is now on the Chiefs. Brandon Cooks is a step below those players but could be valuable to a team needing a second or third option. Again, this is not a trade that will bring the Cowboys a top-notch pick. No trade at the deadline will bring any team a pick in the first two rounds, most likely. That is okay for Dallas, who will be a cap-strapped team looking to drastically improve this offseason. Parting ways with Cooks now makes their offseason decisions easier and gives them more opportunity to improve through the draft. The Steelers reportedly had a deal in place to get Christian Kirk from the Jacksonville Jaguars. He broke his collarbone, ending his season and crushing the deal. Mike Tomlin knows that he needs a target behind George Pickens to make this offense a fully-fledged operation and Cooks could be that piece. 
Cowboys Dak Prescott caught delivering scathing three-word message on team. It was not a particularly good day for Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott on Sunday, facing off against the Falcons in Week 9 of the NFL season. He injured his hamstring in the third quarter of the 27-21 loss to Atlanta and sat out for the fourth quarter, an injury that owner Jerry Jones termed concerning. Prescott was sacked three times, and though he was 18 for 24 passing on the day, he racked up only 133 yards, an average of 5.5 yards per completion. Generally speaking, Prescott is a reliable leader even in tough times, and can usually be counted on to say the right things in post-game media conferences. In Atlanta, though, he was caught by TV cameras doling out an unvarnished opinion on the state of his team. With 3.56 to go in the game and Dallas down two touchdowns, Prescott can be seen saying to a teammate, We, expletive, suck. Cowboys falling from playoff picture. It's hard to argue Prescott's point. The loss to Atlanta drops the Cowboys to 3-5 to overall, and their season point differential is minus 54. Of the three wins the Cowboys have, only one came against a decent team, the Week 5 victory in Pittsburgh. Unfortunately for the Cowboys, the NFC is a deep and talented conference these days, which will make it tough for Dallas to rally for a playoff spot. In the NFC East, the Eagles have rallied to win four in a row and the Commanders are winners of three straight. Dallas is three games in the loss column behind both teams, leaving almost no chance to win the division. It's almost as bleak when it comes to landing a spot in the NFC wild card round. The Cowboys are behind 12 teams in the conference, which means that, after the four division winners are settled, Dallas would still have to leapfrog five teams to reach the postseason. They've not show much reason to think that can happen. The schedule won't help, either. The Cowboys next run the gauntlet of the Eagles, Texans and Commanders, three teams that have combined for a 19-7 record this season. Seems that 3-8 is a real possibility. And they may have to do it without Prescott, who offered a grim take on his injury, after the game. I felt something pull, he said. I felt something I've never felt.